This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice and Treasurer John Perdue announced that the Treasurer's Office would transfer an additional $20 million to the state's general revenue fund for fiscal year 2020. Because we don't want to cut anything whatsoever if we don't have to. And so all of a sudden the numbers start coming a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. And now, you know, here's a great big hit from our Treasurer. So, so with all that being said, hopefully we're not going to have to cut anything whatsoever. The winners of the Division of Natural Resources and Office of Tourism's Hunting and Fishing License Contest were announced in a ceremony at the Capitol, where officials also announced that 2019 saw 73,000 new licenses sold to people who didn't have one the previous year. Uh, that's, that's really significant because across the country, most states are seeing their hunting and fishing license sales plummet. And for us to turn it around, not only did we not lose money this year, we actually made more money. As a continued effort to end hunger in West Virginia, Governor Justice declared January 14th as Hunger-Free West Virginia Day. This comes after his budget proposal containing $6 million in funding to help fight hunger in the Mountain State. We've got so many West Virginians, especially kids, that really and truly are going hungry. Now, it's hard probably for us to believe that what hunger is really all about. Tourism Day and Aviation Day were celebrated at the legislature, and the governor attended the opening night of the Charleston Auto Show. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.